The best time to do most of the things on your bucket list is now that you're still young and in your 20s because you are very energetic and with fewer responsibilities. Also, your 20s is a time when you make certain crucial decisions that will affect your life, career, and business, either positively or negatively. Exposing yourself to some situations, places, or things can help you make the right decisions. So in this video, I'll share with you 10 things you need to try at least once while in your 20s. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Visit a new country. Traveling out of your hometown or your current base will help you get over your fears and expose you to some of the things life has to offer. For instance, you get to experience a different culture from yours. You get to try out new cuisines, listen to new music, interact with people different from you, etc. Not only is this fun to do, but also a great way to improve yourself because you'll get to engage with new cultures that can help you grow as a person and come back home with a broader perspective of the world. 2. Get a spa treat Growing up to doing adult things such as working, going to school and keeping up things with our households, etc. isn't one of the easiest things to do. Most times, it leaves us with very little time to take care of ourselves. So, take a day off all that stuff to treat yourself to a spa. Get your body massaged, get your facial done, have a mud bath or a seaweed wrap and the likes because you deserve it. And if you don't do it for yourself, well, no one will. 3. Go on a weekend getaway I certainly won't advise you to spend all of your 20s working without giving yourself room to have fun. Yes, I know you've got a future and a career to build, but you've also got one life to do all things that you want to do. So, how about evenly distributing it all? Surely, you're not piling your fun till you're older with responsibilities, are you? So, take a break from work and work-related activities. Plan a weekend getaway with friends. Go have fun and get carried away with that lifestyle until the weekend is over. It will not only help you feel better, but re-energize you for the work ahead. 4. Dedicate a full day to doing nice things for strangers. It'll be nice to remind yourself that life isn't about you alone. Neither are you the only one with challenges and need help. We all go through the same things that you face. So, for once, how about focusing on others and their needs instead of yours? Do you know that doing something nice for others comes with it a feeling of fulfillment? That feeling is one of the best feelings ever. So, when you choose a day to do something nice to people, not only will it make you feel good about yourself, but will restore faith in humanity and make those strangers feel good as well. Ralph Waldo Emerson, an American lecturer and philosopher said, The purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well. Also, learning to do something nice for people will teach you how to become valuable to others, one of the key ingredients of success. According to John Bunyan, an English writer, you have not lived today until you have done something for someone who can never repay you. The truth is that to make the best of life, you have to understand that it is all about the value you create for others. It is about how you help others. The more people you help, the higher your chances of success. So, start today. You can try out this view for a start. Help someone carry out groceries at the store. Buy coffee for the person behind you in line. Or maybe help a stranger with a random task. 5. Make a 3 or 4 course meal for someone you love and set a fancy table. The idea of making a 3 or 4 course meal is to learn how to make something new and different. There are so many delicacies in the world. So, taking something different for a change isn't such a bad idea. Not only should you cook something nice, take it the extra mile by setting a fancy table with the meals for someone that you love. It could be your group of friends, family or partner. I mean, the last thing you want to do is make such delicious meals and have them all stuffed in your stomach. No, you need people to appreciate your culinary skills. In doing this, this new attitude can positively affect other areas of your life as you won't be scared to take up challenges. 6. Live on your own What are your interests, likes and dislikes, core values, etc.? One of the best ways to truly discover yourself is to live alone. When you do, you get to discover a lot of things about yourself that you never knew. You'll also learn how to take care of yourself and become responsible for yourself. The truth is that if you can't take care of yourself and take charge of your life, how will you take care of others, your family in this case? 7. Stay single for a while Staying single is like living alone for a while. The goal is to find out who you are, what you want to spend the rest of your life doing, and what brings you true happiness. It is only when you are genuinely happy 
that you can find happiness in your relationship. You won't be needy or rely on a partner to bring lasting happiness to you. The first thing to take note about a romantic relationship is that if self-love is absent, then the relationship might never work. If you don't learn to love and treat yourself appropriately, why would anyone else do that? Lucille Ball, an American actress and comedian, said, Love yourself first and everything else falls into line. You have to love yourself to get anything done in this world. To love yourself, however, you need to stay single for a while. It will give you enough time to discover some things about yourself, such as your strengths and weaknesses, etc. Knowing these things will help you love yourself better and take good care of yourself. You will also learn not to depend on others to feel good about yourself or your appearance. 8. Go an entire week without your smartphone It's probably ridiculous to ask you to go an entire week without your mobile phone. Perhaps we should rephrase that. Go offline for an entire week. The truth is that, as helpful as the internet and social media has been to us, we've also allowed ourselves to get too used to it that it has become an addiction for some people. They spend valuable time that they should be spending doing something else on their mobile phones. By the time they realize what is happening, the time is far spent already. So try going offline for a week, just to check your addiction level. Besides, doing this will help instill self-discipline in you, and you will be happy you were able to achieve your goal when you're done. 9. Go to a concert Have you considered being a part of any live performance or show in your city? If you haven't, you should consider attending a concert. Doing this will create some interesting memories and experiences that you won't want to forget in a hurry. Listening to your favorite artist on radio is just not the same as experiencing them live. Also, you get to meet different people, all of which share the same interest with you. For once in your lifetime, be at the receiving end of something good. Treat yourself to a fantastic event and have fun. You deserve it. 10. Spend time with someone much older than you You know, spending time with people older than you, like your grandparents' age, can help you learn a lot by just listening to what they have to say about life. You can play board games or cards with them and think about what you can learn from them. That's it guys, have fun. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.